everybody, Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. Very excited to share with you the Waymark Mile, which is a 28 liter day pack overnight pack. But this is a pack that I've wanted to share with you guys for a long time and finally getting around to it. Now, I did have a hand in the design aspects of this pack and the decisions that went into uh, how it came to uh, fruition. So how did that happen? Well, full disclaimer, I work for Waymark Gear Company, have for the past year. And so uh, this is not necessarily a review in that aspect because I'm biased on my opinion of this pack. But I want to talk about it because I have been very, very happy with the uh, performance of this pack as I've been using it in all of my day hiking since we released it in early June. So what the mile is, is a 28 liter sized lightweight or ultralight backpack that comes in at just about 16 ounces of weight before you would add any kind of accessories, maybe a shoulder pocket or the optional uh, removable one inch uh, webbing hip belt that you can get for the pack. But we're gonna talk about all of the features that uh, are on this pack and then talk about my experience of carrying it. Now this has a full set of features that make it very functional for any kind of hiking that you're going to be doing. Overnight backpacking, even like two or three day trips that you might be able to get out of this, or day hiking. We tried really hard to make sure that this size backpack was going to work for any type of hiker in any kind of uh, situation that you would find yourself in. So let's dig into it. On these sides of the pack you've got very large uh, side pockets. So these pockets are big enough to hold a Nalgene bottle and do it very securely. So you're not going to have this bottle falling out. But yeah, I've got a Nalgene here in the side of the pack. And I've also got a compression cord here on the side that's just a lightweight cord that if you've got tall bottles or other tall items, this cord is going to make it easy to uh, reduce the size of the pack if it's not filled to capacity, but also contain and hold and secure those tall items that you might have, like a fishing pole or a tall bottle, something like that that would go here on the sides. Here on the front of the pack, you've got a very large stretch uh, Lycra pocket. This pocket, uh, you're not going to want to overload a pocket like this, but I mean, today I've got everything from uh, first aid kit to dog leash and such that is in here, but anything that you would need quick and easy access to, uh, you can get out of that pocket. Now, something that got added to this pack that I really love is this front access zipper organizer pocket. With a day pack, you're gonna carry your wallet, your keys, you're gonna have other small items, snacks and things that you want really quick and easy access to. And this YKK AquaGuard zipper, so it's not waterproof, but water resistant, uh, goes across the entire length here. And then you've got an organizer pocket here on the inside with two smaller pockets. So you might have a little wallet. Uh, I've got my car keys over here and then a bit larger pocket here that's going to allow you to put snacks and things and stuff that uh, you would want quick and easy access to. I love this pocket here on the pack. We've also put this little triangle piece here that uh, is going to essentially cover the zipper pole and help prevent any water getting into the pack uh, through the zipper there and just to protect the zipper uh, as well. So if we turn the pack around here on the back side of the pack, the shoulder straps, these are a very comfortable, very nicely padded shoulder strap. You've got just a nice squishy 3D mesh here on the back. And then you've got a daisy chain system that allows you to add accessory items like the Waymark stretch shoulder pocket. Just attaches with a slit clip here at the top. And you've got elastic that goes around the back of the shoulder strap. And it keeps that in place so it makes it so you can carry a water bottle, additional snacks, uh, your phone, whatever you need that's going to fit inside of this little stretch pocket. The uh, sternum strap also has a whistle buckle on it, which is nice. And then, like I mentioned, you can add a removable one inch uh, webbing hip belt at an, an additional cost, but an accessory that goes here onto the bottom of the pack to help with stability and carry of the pack that way. Now here on the back panel, this is one of my favorite things about the pack that got added. And what you have is a piece of foam, an eighth inch piece of foam that's on the inside of the pack here. 
And what that provides is a couple things. Well, first it's gonna be comfort, added comfort to the pack. You're not gonna have things poking against you when you're carrying this against your back, but it also provides structure. Now with day packs, you're not necessarily always going to have this filled to capacity. And so what this provides is additional structure so that when you're wearing it, it doesn't collapse on itself and it just provides added comfort for you in that aspect. So that is not removable on this pack. It is contained within the uh, back panel itself, but it does provide a lot of structure and comfort to this pack in this particular size, which especially when you're doing overnight or uh, a multi-day trip, having that added comfort with this is uh, something that's gonna be very nice to have. Flipping this back around before we talk about the roll top and dig into the pack, you've got trekking pole loops here at the uh, bottom on the left side of the pack that also has a bungee right here to be able to attach those trekking poles. This is a roll top pack. Uh, a lot of lightweight, ultralight focused packs are that way. And in here, I've actually got the pack uh, that I have been carrying for uh, the last several months. This is the mile and this is a custom prototype that I've been wearing and using uh, that is just awesome. But how this is different from this one that I've got here is the fabric that is being used. Very excited about the new EcoPack recycled fabrics that are being used out in the industry. And this mile right here is made from 100% recycled fabrics minus the Lycra, the webbing, the bungee, and uh, some of the shoulder strap material. But probably about 90% of this pack is made from recycled materials, which is amazing. EcoPack recently came on scene, and this is made from an EPX 70 as well as an EPX 200 fabric. And what the heck does that mean? Well, let's break it down a little bit here quickly. All of the black that you see on the pack here is the 70 uh, EPX, which means it's a 70 denier face fabric and the liner fabric, so it's a laminated multi-layer fabric, is also a 70 denier ripstop fabric. And then you've got a uh, recycled polyester thread that is run through the fabric to provide uh, additional strength and stretch bias uh, prevention as well. All of the other colors that you see here, this ranger green color, which is really nice, very excited about it. This is a 200 EPX, 200 denier, Base fabric then has a liner of that 70 denier ripstop uh, polyester. It's just fantastic and I love the performance of this. It's also waterproof. The fabric itself is waterproof. It has a uh, very eco-friendly DWR type of treatment to it uh, with no uh, types of chemicals that are going to be harmful to the environment which is really nice. But it uh, is not waterproof in the sense that the seams are not uh, seam sealed or seam taped. So uh, you do still need to use a, a liner for this if you are going to be out in really wet uh, conditions with this pack. So overall, my experience with the Mile is just very positive. I love the way that this thing carries. I love the way that uh, we have our shoulder straps designed where they provide a lot of articulation up and down, side to side, left to right just so that it fits and works with any body type. The shape of the shoulder straps allow for uh, to be used with any type of hiker uh, body type. It's just a really nice design. One pound in weight. You can't beat that in terms of like what this thing is capable of in being so comfortable, but also not overloading yourself with a ton of weight alone in your pack. It's very comfortable to carry. Up to about 20 pounds of weight is where I would to put it at a max load. Uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to load it past that anyway because of its capacity, but I love, love this thing. There you go guys, the Waymark Mile. I love this thing. Check it out, I've got a link down in the description that is a non-affiliate link. <laughs> it's not an affiliate link. Uh, it goes direct to our website, but uh, there it is. The Waymark Mile 28 liter day pack overnight pack. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one.